Hi, this is Peter Dance Clairvoyant and I'm doing your astrology reading here for um, Scorpio, April 2020. So that's Scorpio, April 2020. And, and I just feel so for some of you Scorpios now, sort of you're trying to look forward, but I feel so sometimes it's like I feel so you're not sort of thinking ahead in like a positive light. It's like I feel so you're looking negative on things and very down about things. It's like I feel so you're not in a, the right frame of mind at the moment. But I do get the feeling as time goes by, you will start to realise as if to say what you've got in front of you. In other words, sometimes I feel so we're looking down about things, whether we've got this or we haven't got that. And and it's like you realise then sort of as if to say, well, maybe I've got more than most and maybe I need to be a bit more happier with what I've got. And, and it's interesting, but I'm not saying that you can't get out there and get some of the things that you want in life. But I do feel like as you move forward, you've got to start to focus on what's important and what's achievable. And I feel so this is where it's like trying to find the shades between black and white, trying to find some kind of middle ground. And I feel so for some of you being lucky, you maybe get from that sort of middle ground and get to the really lighter shades of life. But then some of you might just sort of get in the middle of the shade. But then obviously some of you might be just right smack bang in the, in the middle and then a couple of us maybe in the darker side. But it doesn't mean we're all the same, does it? It all depends on how we look at life, how we motivate ourselves, how we look and sort of believe in ourselves to bring in some kind of positive change. So I'm certainly not saying Scorpios that you can't do things or you, know, you can do things. It depends on you and your state of mind on how you're looking at things. But I also feel as though you've got to sort of look at what's around you. In other words, people that you're connecting with, because they could be dragging you down. So in other words, is there a block there? Are they stopping you moving forward? And I feel as though this is what you've got to think about. But I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying it's something I feel as though you've got to do a little bit of analysing with. And I feel on this is what you need to make sure that you're making the right decisions and choices because you what you don't want to be doing is say, oh, this is not working right. That's kind of blocking me. I know what's stopping me. Then you go out there and make this big, massive change. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's not quite the way I thought it would be. Because sometimes, although that person you might feel like is holding you back or is knocking you down, they were actually kind of keeping you at a level. In other words, so you didn't fall too much. Yes, you might not be able to grow, and that might have been because of them, but then they were also stopping you from falling below that. In other words, they're keeping you on a level. So in other words, maybe it wasn't as bad as you thought it was, and maybe this is what you need to think about now before you go out there and make these big changes. Is it as bad as you think it is? You know, is it all sort of doom and gloom where you're at? And that could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be family. You know, it could be any kind of situation where you feel stuck and you feel like you're not moving forward. But is it as bad as you think it is? So it feels like this is where you've got to do a little bit of reflecting and not sort of rushing in, making difficult choices and then all of a sudden moving forward and regretting it. But don't get me wrong, you could make these difficult choices and you could make the right decision and it all works out completely brilliant. But that depends on your willpower and your independent side and your mind, the way you look at things. Because I feel like some of you are being supported... I sorry about that. I didn't want to stop the video and start again. It's my uh, tripod and the the the, the phone trumped off. Oh dear! Um, but I've sorted it out. I've put some tape on now, so it shouldn't slip off now. So I do apologise about that. So just going back to where I was recapping because I can't remember where I stopped. 
um, I was basically saying something to the point where is you've got to sort of look at yourself now and see whether you can make the changes for you. Uh, so I'm not saying that you can't move forward, you can't embrace new ideas, you can't change your job, you can't change a relationship, but you've got to do it on your own, but you've got to do a bit of reflecting whether it's the right thing to do before you jump in. So yes, you're capable of making changes, but maybe there's some of you out there that you do need to rely on somebody or rely on that job or rely on that relationship. And you've got to decide whether you can get out there in the big wide world and do it on your own. Or maybe it's not as bad as where you think it is. But some of you it's going to be different. So it just feels like you need to do a little bit of reflecting now of what's the best thing for you to do. So like I say, I'm not saying do do it or don't do it. But you need to do a bit of analysing. But do bear in mind once you've made those changes, they can't be on done it's like it's done you've got to follow through so be very careful it's a bit like you're in this kind of state of being bored and fed up with things and then the times that we're in are kind of perhaps emphasizing that at the moment and you've got to make sure that you're making the right choices Okay, now when it comes to relationships, I just feel so those of you that are single, I do get the feeling over the sort of coming months, I feel so you're going to be connecting with one or two people. And I just feel so it's a great time to sort of be interesting and, and moving forward and talking to new people to come into your life. And I feel so some of these can build up into a relationship and some of you may just keep as a friendship and it's quite possible to keep them as a friendship. And I feel so that will be really good. I feel so more friendships coming into the picture is good for you. But I just feel so, but don't just keep everybody a friend. You need close ones that you can rely on. You don't want to be spreading your wings out too much with friendships as otherwise could cause you more trouble than it's worth. Because sometimes you Scorpios can be a bit particular. So like I say, sort of choose wisely there but like I say a good time to connect with people to sort of have a new fresh start and those of you that are in a relationship I can see a lot of analyzing going on it's almost like it feels like you're in a position at the moment where it feels like you're not very happy about things at all I'm not saying this is the case for everybody but there's quite a one or two Scorpios where it feels though like you're in that kind of place at the moment and I feel so like you're wanting change and this is where I said in the beginning you've got to do a bit of analyzing now of what's the best thing so i don't want to go on to that too much now because i've already talked about that in the beginning but i just thought to emphasize it again so to speak so you've got to do a little bit of self-analyzing there when it comes to work and career a little bit i just get the feeling now the rest is a great time now for you to perhaps look at the future long term and decide where you want to be going and anything to do with where you're kind of helping people or guiding people or having some kind of responsibility where you can direct people i feel so you know you could be very good at that i feel so you have got your people skills to do that kind of sort of profession so like being care nursing um doctors anything like that social workers counselors or even receptionists because you're guiding people and it doesn't exactly come into care but your care comes in looking after them putting them in the right place taking them where they need to be go and and i feel anything like that like being a pa i just feel so you could be very very good at it but it's whether you want to be front to desk or you want to be more hands-on so to speak so these are the things I feel so you could be looking at for the future where you could perhaps retrain or move up the ladder with it. And I think it's a great time to sort of see where career kind of goes for you. But I do also feel so for some of you as well, especially if you've been in long term relationships and you're reasonably secure. I feel so some of you Scorpios may want to slow down a little bit. And I do get the feeling the possibility is that is there for you as long as you sort of talk to your partner and have a bit of a plan of how we're going to do this. And I feel like it can be done. Even if you don't sort of quit jobs completely, you could perhaps slow down a little bit. So I do feel like some of you will be thinking along those lines and having perhaps some of you have 
you've got time off at the moment might sort of encourage you to think on those that ways as if to say Do you know what i am enjoying my time like this even though i can't go out much i'm enjoying the time to do what i want to do and it kind of emphasizes you wanting that kind of change around you so just wait and see for that to sort of creep into your thoughts like i say i'm not saying it's wrong i'm not saying it's right it will suit some of you it won't suit everyone but I feel like you'll be thinking along those lines, one or two of you. So just wait and see. When it comes to family, I just seem to wanting to try and connect more with family. But I just feel so it's a bit difficult for some of you. And when I say a bit difficult for some of you, it's not even to do with what's going on in the world. It could be some of you are connecting with a bit long distance. And I just feel as though you'll just have to sort of perhaps try and connect through social media and the best way you can there. But I do get the feeling as time goes by, you're going to want to connect more with family. So you might make more of an effort to go visit, to go see long distance family or just connect through social media whatever it may be and i think it's a good thing to do it sort of builds you up it's like it makes you feel a bit more settled that you're doing something you're making a change and i can see you enjoying that kind of social kind of time with family but do watch out for one or two family wanting sort of things off you whether it's your time it's your emotions your financial uh, help and I just feel so you just got to be a bit careful about that because I feel like one or two could take you for granted with you being such a caring soul so I'm not saying don't give or don't give your time but just make sure it's respected and I'm not saying you've got to get back because sometimes we can't always get back. It doesn't work that way. But just make sure you're being appreciated for what you are doing. Even if it isn't much, it doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. And if you're not being appreciated, why bother? You could put that little bit of energy or a lot of energy, whatever it is you're giving, you could give it somewhere else where it's truly, truly needed. And as I think about that, I think maybe one or two of you could think about charitable things. I think you could be very good at that. And that fits in the caring, caring state. So to giving back to society. And I think you'd be very good at that. And although you wouldn't be financially rewarded, that's not the point. So just see what you feel with that. That could really interest and intrigue some of you. When it comes to money, I just feel so. Some of you have got to be very careful with money at the moment, but some of you have just got to just be a little bit wise with it and you should be fine. But I do feel like long term moving forward over the course of the year, I feel some money may fluctuate a little bit, but one of the two of you, it can grow and sort of get a little bit better. So I feel so just analyse money, see where you're going with it. And if you want more, then I just feel so you've just got to focus on doing what you're doing. Okay. Now, when it comes to around the home, I've got sort of a little bit of tidying up around the home. And, and I feel so doing things to do with the outdoors and maybe sort of focusing on bigger plans in the home. And I feel so they are there. But do bear in mind what money we've got to play with and also communicate with whatever partner you may have around you that you're on the same wavelength and it is achievable and it can be done. But I just feel so it's definitely there. Okay. And with health, I just feel so keep an eye on your eyes, keep an eye on your nose and also keep an eye on your ears. So I'm being drawn to facial issues, but I just feel so we're all right, nothing to worry about. But whatever needs sorting there just needs looking at and perhaps keep an eye on your feet a little bit. I've got your feet being a little bit tired. So do give your feet a little bit of attention, a bit of a relaxation. Take the weight off your feet a little bit. And some of you are a bit drained and a bit tired at the moment. It's like a lot of thought going on in your minds. So don't be frightened to have an afternoon nap and go to sleep. Rest your mind a little bit. It will do good. It'll do you good. Because do bear in mind when we get stressed, it's got to come out of you in some way. And if you can just relax your body a little bit and switch off from the outer world, it will do you the world of good. Okay. So it just feels like overall not too bad there. So it just feels like just keep doing what you're doing and bit by bit, things are kind of getting where they need to be. But there's going to be quite a few changes now as you move forward. And you've just got to focus now on what's the best thing for you to be doing. But analyse it, double check it before you make the changes. And as you do that, you should be absolutely fine. So onwards and upwards. And, and I feel like and as we do that, we should be feeling pretty positive about the future. 
But if you're not sure, don't rush into things. Take your time. I feel so those that rush could regret. Those that take the time, I feel so will make the right plan. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope that makes sense to you. And I wish you well for the future. And good health and stay safe. Thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.